What's going on guys, Niz is here once again bringing you a free-for-all gameplay on Interchange. The first thing that I'd like to mention guys is I have a new background for my channel. So if you've got a free moment after you watch this video, I would love it if you could go to my channel, check it out and just leave me a comment on the page, let me know what you think of it. The, the background, it may not look that good or anything special on littler, littler monitors, but if you've got a larger monitor, it might look... Well, hopefully you think it looks nice. I think it looks nice, but maybe that's just my personal opinion because I made it. You never know. But yeah, anyway, the first thing that I would like to mention in this video is if you guys saw my Black Ops combat record, I was making every excuse under the, uh, under the sun as to why my win-loss and kill-death ratios weren't all that impressive. Um, my Modern Warfare 3 combat record, or Barracks as it's called in this game, currently shows that I was right. I like being right. <laughs> my uh, my win loss is currently standing at 42 to 35. Not that impressive, but above one nonetheless. And my KD stands at around 1.42 at the moment, which is 0.12 better than Black Ops. So yeah, I think this is uh, I think this is going to grow for the next month or so as I get used to the new maps and the new guns, and eventually it'll steady out. And I'd like my I'd like to see my KD sit at around a 1.82 somewhere somewhere like that, and my win loss to to be around three maybe i'm being a bit optimistic there but it'd be nice to see nonetheless but i suppose we'll see we'll see about that this time next year anyway let's get into this uh the video that well this video should i say not the video that i'm gonna do this video that i'm doing now it's gonna take another approach like the last video what i like what i dislike um and before before we do start the likes easily overshadow the dislikes that you know I can live with the dislikes because of all the things that I do like, you know, it's it's one of those kind of things. And as well as that, I'll, uh, I'll throw a, th a few of my suggestions in there, and I'm going to steal this care package. I can't remember what's in it. What is in it? Oh, I don't care. Anyway, um, <laughs> in fact, I do care. What was in it? A precision airstrike. Is that like Harriers? We'll see now. I can't remember this game. I've already played it, but it must be. It looks similar, or maybe like a napalm strike, something like that. Anyway, let's get into this. Um, so yeah, my main... What was I going to say? No, my, yeah, anyway, my main like is uh, is the classes. And yeah, I love the classes in this game and the way you can change them about in, in loads of different ways. Um, but yeah, the, the way that I use the classes and the way it handles overall, I just... Yeah, I can't, I can't stress how much I'm enjoying this game. But first things first, I'll get to the dislikes, or dislike, should I say. The only thing that I can think of this far is the UAVs and advanced UAVs. I feel like they're only in the air for three or foo, uh, three or foo, three or foo, three or four, like, swoops of the radar kind of thing. And it's like, the it just seems the UAV only lasts, you know, maybe 20 seconds at best. It, it just doesn't feel like it lasts that long. And that's a bit of a wasted kill streak, really, but... Maybe, maybe that's just my personal opinion, but it doesn't feel as if they last near as long as the as they have done in the previous titles. Um, as well as that, I think the advanced UAV should have been uh, should have been another Blackbird, really. Even if even if it had been moved up from a nine point streak to maybe a sixteen to eighteen point streak um, on the sport class, you know, I would have I would have liked to have seen that, but I guess due to the maps being a lot smaller, and I guess that would have just brought a lot of complaints in, but I, I would have liked to see another Blackbird in. Maybe the next Treyarch title, they're going to bring it back. I would assume they will do, because that, that kill streak was a beast. I loved it so much. And yeah, the next point is uh, something you'll probably see in a few videos that I've already got recorded. I'm not too sure, but yeah, I'm doing this a lot at the minute. Um, there's so many things that look like they're climbable, you know? Just there's so many things that look like you should be able to climb them and it'll get you into a different spot But yeah, I keep trying to climb things and it keeps getting me killed like you I, I just try and jump over walls and it just doesn't work and it kind of I wouldn't say it's annoying me, but it's it, It's it's annoying me <laughs> But it's just one of those things. I suppose you've got to get used to um I guess they've they've kind of tried to remove all power positions from the game, and I've I've seen very little head glitching spots too. Maybe one or two so far, but but not many at all in comparison to the to the to the previous titles. I guess I've said the previous titles a million times in this video, but I suppose I'm just comparing games at the moment. But yeah, and finally, my final dislike is uh, it's not exactly a Modern Warfare Three problem. It's more of a universal issue on most Call of Duty games, and. 
by all means, I don't think they should remove the knife from uh, from the game, but yeah, consider I just got a knife there, but yeah, they shouldn't remove the knife from the game, but panic knifing is really, it's a bit too much for me, I, I can't stand getting panic knifed, it, it sends me into a frenzy sometimes, it, okay, maybe not a frenzy, but it, it really annoys me sometimes, and yeah, I, I just, I, I'm not a fan of the panic knifing, it really does annoy me. But I, my, my possible solution for this would just be, you know, press triangle, press Y, pull out your knife instead of a pistol, you know? I think that that that's just all it takes. Just knifing instead of, you know, I don't know. Just, just rather than a pistol, bring out a knife, having to pull the knife out and then use the knife. That would eliminate panic knifing while still keeping the knife in the game. Yeah, anyway. Like, like, like the, the famous saying goes, do not... <laughs> I'm, like, I'm getting knives here and it's it's benefiting me. Um, and I'm moaning about it. Um, but like they say, don't bring a knife to a gunfight. And that's how it should be. Because nine times out of ten, a knife will beat a gunfight in this situation. And there is my AC-130, which I do awful in. Yes, indeed. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's it for the dislikes, guys. Uh, let's, uh, let's get on the likes. Let's get on the likes indeed. I'm, I'm realizing that this game is literally winding down now and I might even be able to talk for another 10 minutes or something so I might put another gameplay on top of it. Uh, we'll see though. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's start with the likes now. Um, buh, 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 buh. Where are we? Where are we? The likes. So first of all, the new maps. I love the new maps. At first, I was a bit on edge and my feathers were a little ruffled getting into this. Um... I just kept getting killed because I didn't know where people were and my AC-130 skills are terrible. I need to learn how to use it. Uh, but yeah, I kept getting killed because I didn't know where people were and yeah, it's just... Just once you get used to the maps, it is really good, guys. I'm really enjoying it. The, the maps are great. The maps are really great. Um, the map, they, they pretty much eliminate camping. The only form of camping I've seen is, like I said, there is very little power positions in this game. So most of the camping is done in corners. And due to how the, the maps are laid out, you can see the guys before they can even see you while they're camping because they stand out like a sore thumb. You know, it's that's just that's just how it is. And just quickly before I forget, the final score is a 30 and 7. Not that impressive, but above a 3 KD regardless. Not too bad for one of my first games. Yeah, anyway, so let's carry on. Um, but yeah, uh, most of the time, like I said, they are easily visible anyway just because of how the maps are, how the maps are made. Um, with that said, there is one spot on a particular map that I keep running back to. I don't know the name of it, but it's it's kind of head glitchy and it is kind of a power position. Um, I'm, I'm not too sure of the name, but no doubt I'll have, a, I'll have a game coming up with it in soon. So I'll show you where I mean as and when. Um, another thing I, I, love about, <coughs> I love about the game is, is the classes, especially the proficiencies. Uh, the proficiencies add a great new twist as it were, to the to the weapon system, and I love how each weapon has it has its own level. So, you know, you don't unlock something as you level up, you unlock it as you... I suppose it's kind of similar to Modern Warfare 2, you unlock it as you get X amount of kills, but in this, in this way, you... I suppose it's exactly the same, except they've leveled the gun up, really, rather than giving it a kill kind of count. Yeah, if that makes sense. But yeah, I do, I, I do like it, it's a nice new thing that they've added. Uh, the class that I used in this gameplay was the Scar L with Holographic Sight and the Kick Proficiency. Uh, the small, or the SMAW launcher, I don't know how you pronounce it, I like calling it a small though. Um, the frag and conch nades, uh, sight of hand pro, quick draw, quick draw, quick draw pro, and stalker pro. I absolutely love stalker. Personally, it feels like a kind of perk that's going to get me killed more often than not, but I can't stop using it. It is a really good perk. Being able to be in the scope and running really quickly, really good perk. I just love it, like, people don't expect you to be kind of rushing towards them and shooting at the same time, I suppose. Maybe they do, but I don't know, I just really do enjoy that. Um, I, I suggest you try that class out, just just give it a go, it's it's a lot of fun, you know, I, I enjoy it. Um, I'll go over some more classes in another video as and when I'm using them, but I'm running low on time at the minute because I've realised that I've not got another gameplay uh, recorded. I might in fact just throw a bit of Black Ops on the end of this, I, I apologise if you guys don't want to see a bit of Black Ops, but, you know, it's a bit of something to get rid of the boredom of waiting around. Um, but yeah, anyway. And finally, Kill Confirmed, guys. That game mode is amazingly good. Especially Ground War Kill Confirmed. Such a fast-paced game mode. I can't say enough good things about it. It's 
As well as that, I think that's the quickest you will level up. Unless you're a beast at search and destroy, kill confirmed is a great way to level up. Personally, I would, uh, I'd run a, an SMG with with support and high kill streaks. For example, the advanced UAV, the stealth bomber, which is an animal of a kill streak. It's so good, it's like the rolling thunder. And uh, escort airdrop. If you run that with the support class and uh, just a, a, a PP90 or something like that, you will absolutely beast. Um, I, I was really enjoying Kill Confirmed when I was playing it last night, and yeah. And also, before I forget, I, uh, I'm starting the recording for my Road to Commander series uh, on Friday. Possibly today if I get any more free time, but most probably Friday. So I think the first video will go up for you guys on Monday. And then it'll just be a clean slate of Road to Commander on my series for the next the next 20 30 weeks or something like that as well i'm doing the occasional commentary like i'll be doing subscribers saturday and maybe maybe one more during the week but yeah a lot of videos should be coming your way and finally before i forget drop your requests in for subscriber saturday i'm currently at level 41 so anything that's unlocked around that level just drop me a load out and i'll see how it goes for saturday and that's it guys sorry that i, I talked a lot longer than i was expecting to um, but yeah, Facebook and Twitter links are in the description. I would absolutely love it if you could follow me on there. Uh, a lot more of this sort of gameplay to come. And yeah, that's that, guys. I really do appreciate all of the support. And once again, thank you for 100 videos. This is 101. Modern Warfare 3 101. Yeah, peace.